Fuck. Okay, welcome back to episode 2 of this Heretic Let's Play. So, I just completed levels 1 and 2, I find myself in level 3, the gatehouse. So, um, yeah, I guess not much more to say really, uh, just get started, uh, if I can figure out how to unpause this. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't really remember this level so well. Uh, how do you know it's level 3? I guess probably not a very interesting level. Every time I end up on this one thinking about it, I just can't really remember it. I guess it must be just kind of a boring level. Of course, they always, pretty much every level in this game begins with skirmish with some gargoyles who are thoroughly annoying and not yet powered up, so still pretty weak. Oh, no, sorry, I spoke too soon. They already have their ranged attack. I guess it must be the difficulty setting. It's fire, they attack. When you, um, right now it doesn't seem so difficult, but later on... Wow, they're really attacking fast. It must be the difficulty setting. Later on there's going to be... Uh, 10 or 15 of them firing those little yellow projectiles all the time and it starts to get a bit more hairy. But for now, yeah, not too difficult. I got the bag of holding which is nice, which means I can pick up more ammo. Let's get in there. I can't do it yet. We're fighting each other. That was nice. The disciples mission is not particularly disciplined. Okay. Now this is a this kind of indicator here. This little lighty indicator is a dead cert. Uh, there's going to be uh, some kind of trap when I pick that up. Quite a large trap in this case. You really can't take anything for granted in this game. Um, the one thing you can be sure of is that the level doesn't overlap itself uh, on the map. So if there's no room for there to be any kind of trap, then there's not going to be a trap. But that doesn't mean that, uh, generally speaking, you're never really safe. There can be traps anywhere. Okay. So, blazing through it, not really too tough yet. Oh, ow. Yeah, the Total Power is going to feature in my adventure map. Um, it's one of the few items. Well, it's, it's the only item that you're going to be able to carry because of the limitations of the way Minecraft works in the vanilla version. You're going to be all, uh, most of the other items are going to be present, like the Shadow Sphere is going to be present. Um, the potions are obviously going to be present that you can carry those because they're supported already in the game. The Total Power will be one of the only ones you can actually carry. The others are going to just be. Um, uh, like pick up power ups. <clears throat> so you can see here, um, yeah, the torch is not going to feature. <laughs> that is not really very relevant to Minecraft. with the... There's quite a lot of enemies on the 
this difficulty tank. I don't really remember there being this many. It's just like non stop. It's pretty fun. Well, it's kind of typifies the game, to be honest. It's intense battle to the death for no real reason. You don't get any kind of revelator exposition until the end of the first. Um, the end of the first series. So one third of the way through the game, you get one page of information about what's going on, and it's it's not. It doesn't give you much. It's not much of a revelation, to be honest. It doesn't it doesn't help you at all to understand what's going on. Only at the but by the very end, you've got a vague idea, but I mean, the, the premise of the story is pretty weak, but that's kind of what I like. There's not really... you don't really know what's going on. It's just... you're forced into level after level of devious trap and puzzle. Uh, oh dear. I appear to be lost. Hmm. It goes in circle. Okay, I guess it's not this way. The level design is also quite a lot more interesting. While it's not, certainly not free roll, um, it's not really linear either. It's quite, uh, quite a nice blend. It's not, it's, you know, at times it's open, at times it's quite closed, but it's, uh, it's, well, it's, 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 it's how how shooters used to be uh, before they became fight down this corridor, follow your partner, wait for him to open the door for you. Okay, so that's a teleporter. Uh, could take me anywhere. Probably going to take me into a great deal of danger. So I will get my tone. Oh, this one's fun. The morph over. Ah, yes, just took me back to the start. Save me some time, I guess. Yeah, the morph over is this little egg uh, that will feature in uh, the Minecraft in my uh, adventure map, but not in a great capacity to be honest. <laughs> it's kind of, you'll see what it does and uh, well the morph of them in the uh, adventure map is an egg. <laughs> so yeah. Just an egg. Aha, uh -huh, yeah I remember this bit. Is that the, the end? I guess there was yeah, a couple of secrets I didn't find out. I'm not a really big fan of that level. Okay. We'll continue on to The Guard Tower. Ah yes, this soundtrack is amazing to this game. It's a shame it's so short though, like immediately in with the skirmishing. Yeah, the the tracks are quite short and repetitive because well it just loops the loops about one minute of track for each level, which is kind of a shame, because in my opinion it's it had one of the best soundtracks from the Doom, Doom clone franchise, well not really a franchise I suppose, but Doom clone, series of Doom clones, and it's certainly better than uh, Hexen. You may notice there's no crosshair in this game, um, there's actually an auto aim function, which is not doing a very good job right now, in fact it's doing an atrocious job right now. Go. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to feel the uh, lack of ammo now. So many enemies to fight through. I don't remember this level either. In fact, I think there's quite a lot of levels I don't really remember in this game. It's only really the first couple that I know well. Oh, that sound that there was the sound of um, the powered up mummy. Oh, there he is. You can see him up there. Shoots this homing projectile. It's pretty, pretty dangerous. Just gotta try and keep to the open and uh, not get boxed in by these guys try and whittle them down. I'm basically using the Doom equivalent of the pistol right now, so it's not really surprising that it's not doing a great deal. But I'm always scarce and we make do. My 
Christ that they're uh, uh, dead. Skeleton warriors are helping me out there. Skeleton knights, I think they're called. Damn. Come on, die, 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 die. Yeah, interestingly in this game, well, I suppose it's the same in Doom actually, when you die, you're expected to continue the level without, with no weapons, which is pretty harsh. I mean, you can you can use saves if you want, but yeah, if you die, you're expected to continue, well, you, you can continue with just your starter weapon, just the pistol, which is crazy really, I mean, imagine if... Uh, Games nowadays expect you to when you die to start with nothing. I suppose Minecraft sort of does that, but not in quite the same way. Just really clearing everyone out right now. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Ah, that's the ground unit actually. Nasties in there, it sounds like. Okay, so we'll get that one done. That should bring this up, yes. Let's give us the yellow key and sneaky crusher. I'm lazy, so I'm gonna take the risk and go back over. through the... oh, okay, well, we'll do this instead. Shadow Sphere not really working. Okay, Shadow Sphere not working at all. I'm already nearly out of ammo. Bad times to... Uh, ah, that's a crossbow quiver, I need that. Nice, 40 arrows, haha. <laughs> Big pickup. See, this game is actually quite a lot like Minecraft. It, it, it kind of aesthetically, it looks similar to Minecraft, just in the kind of blocky, square nature of it. Although, of course, it has <laughs> rounded corners, while Minecraft 20 years its junior does not. Oh dear! Damn. So fast. I just don't get time to do anything.
map even look like that? Oh, yes, I remember that. That's the key, yes, I thought so. I need to get out of here. In a guard tower. Oh, the disciples! Oh, that was dumb. Well, at least we're going to get to see the disciples a bit better now. These are perhaps my favourite enemy. They're quite like menacing. Really like the sound effects, the kind of menacing chant they have. I don't know what they say. I'm just making noises. Okay. Well, I guess that's end of level four, and I guess I'll put a stop to this episode now. One secret, and I didn't find it. Go me. <laughs> Okay, um, I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. You can click here to see the next episode. If it's not up yet, make sure you subscribe. You can go out. <laughs>